Well, in the last several years, um, DWRS, with its many flaws, has been uh, some sort of action, some sort of legislation has been proposed. And for any number of reasons, only little tiny things have been changed. And there's either been a misalignment between DHS and the legislature or the governor. So, you know, this year I'm encouraged because for the first time, I see pretty good alignment between the governor's office, the governor's budget clearly brings out uh, DWRS as one of the things he wants to try and fix, a 4.7% uh, improvement in the rate system. Uh, a couple other uh, corresponding rate improvements down the road to help offset what happened last year with a 7% cut. I'm optimistic that we're going we're to see some uh, improvement this year and that'd be great because we're really in a tough situation. Banding expires the end of this year. What protection banding provided for service providers is, is gone at the end of this year. So this is kind of a, you know, a very difficult and a very challenging time and we've got to make sure we can have this uh, new legislation in place when banding expires at the end of the year. Even if we get through what we want this year, we certainly have some, some big things to be worried about and some challenges to keep working on in the future. So that's why it's important for MINFAC to stay, to stay in the game and keep uh, working on things is because we, our work is not done even if we get the bills passed this year. We have about 500 uh, family members that are signed up on the MINFAC in our email and our, in our communication. And, we typically go to parent meetings that are being held by service providers and then help talk about uh, what's going on, uh, educate parents, but also try and get them to advocate. Uh, it, they're somewhat reluctant to, to step up and do that, but we really try hard to uh, reduce the complexity of all the technical stuff that's going on and try and get them to, uh, to step up and talk to their legislator, know who they are, uh, encourage them to, to uh, get involved with their legislator. Because yeah, right now, the only way we're making any changes is through the legislative process. So 